Hi there and welcome to Lorena's Labyrinth today. I'm going to try and keep this video short because I realise time is precious for everybody and also because I think it's just easy to not overload you with information. I will of course give you some strategies but before I do I just want to say thank you for joining me today and being part of my journey. I would like to invite you to leave your comments, make a comment. Um, if you've got questions feel free to ask questions. I enjoy sharing information because it helps us all grow. If you're a new I say thank you for joining the channel. If you're a repeating or returning visitor, thank you for your ongoing support. Much appreciated. Um, I do encourage you really honestly, please leave a comment for me. Say hello to me. Um, it helps me to connect with you and it helps me to identify that what I'm putting forward on the channel is something that actually adds value to you and to people's lives. And it also will help me obviously with the YouTube algorithm because of course, the idea behind the channel is that we connect people to each other. This is what I would like to do in ways that empowers them to live a life where they feel connected, where they have meaning and where they've got greater peace and harmony. But anyway, I'm going to jump straight in and start talking about the colour amber today. Amber is such an interesting colour to me because of the shades and because it varies between an orangey type colour and then you've got the yellow. Sometimes it can even be a bit brownish. And so when we talk about um, the properties or the attributes, certainly from a metaphysical perspective of what a colour such as amber means, it's going to depend on the depth, okay? Generally speaking though, so this is the content that I give you, it's general, okay? If it's got a bit of brown, we're talking about stuff like boundaries. With the reds, uh, we're talking about things like willpower because these are the associations with the chakras. Um, so when I refer to brown, excuse me, swallowing, when I refer to brown, it's not just about boundaries, it's actually about grounding and being connected and practical. Uh, the red is a component of how we make the brownie colours as well. And of course, that is about willpower, direction of will, base survival needs and um, those kind of base need things. When we talk about the yellow chakra, we're talking about personal empowerment. And to get the orange type hues, we're actually mixing the red and the yellow together. So we've got cre creativity, emotional uh, regulation and all of that just straight off the get go is what we can get from the colour amber because of its association with the chakras, the various chakras. However, when we look at the primary shame, um, shame, good God, what am I thinking about? When we look at the primary shade of this colour here, this would be made if we had the art uh, paint palette out, this would probably include a little bit of sapphire blue colour in it. And so when we're bringing the sapphire blue in, we're also looking at peace and protection as well. And if it's a paler type colour, then it may have white, which is about purification. But anyway, moving on. So amber is actually a brilliant colour if we're wanting to increase our creative aspects. Um, you know, and this could be the start of an artistic project. But the real important part of being able to be creative is that because it is necessary if we're going to manifest, we need to be able to incorporate passion as a form of imagery into the vision of what it is that we're trying to manifest. So the benefits of the colour amber is this creative aspect and visualisation aspect and being able to put it into an earthly form. Other attributes of amber include within our familial type relationships um, at the very least, because it helps uh, in regard to being able to show affection and receive affection, you know, the kindness, uh, loving, um, being courageous and allowing a certain level of spontaneity into life. It's a very optimistic colour. Um, and certainly when we're able to be comfortable emotionally and with our emotional expression, we're going to have or experience warmer type relationships with each other, which is a great place to start. Now, when it comes to the colour amber as well, this might be my personal um, understanding and experiences of amber. And this is probably because I love crystals. So I generally explore crystal meanings. 
And with this, I'm going to say that generally I interpret the colour amber as being a case of know your roots, know your background, know your cultural history and connect with it, right? I mean, if your ancestors sisters have passed over a long time ago, obviously you're not going to be able to build a personal relationship with them. But what you can do by exploring things or topics such as family history is you can establish the patterns of behaviour um, and experiences within your family. So, for instance, one of the insights that I got around my own family was recurring numerology themes. And when we talk about things like divine paths, you know, the idea is that we're born into the perfect family and that we picked these families before we were born because they were going to teach us certain uh, experiences that we needed to have as part of our soul development and enhancement and quite often the thing is though that many of us don't understand for example if we've got strained relationships with parents or grandparents or even family dysfunction people don't know where that's come from and it's easy to take that on board and personalize it like there's something wrong with you because you don't get on with your family members or on the other hand you find people that do the like it's not my fault it's everybody else's fault my mother was bad if I had a better mother if I had a better father all of this stuff and they find it difficult to forgive their parents or grandparents for the life that they were born into now the beauty of exploring your roots and knowing your ancestral and cultural heritage is that you can actually find things you can find the reasons why and um, it might be that uh, you may not have been aware you know when I do my history I help other people find theirs as well and it could be that there was a family separation or where children became orphans at a very young age and then were put into state care or something like that potentially abused um, while they were children um, at worst and at best they may not have learned the skills on how to be a parent and therefore this is their area of failing if you like that people are resentful too but the other thing is not only do we learn and get insight and understanding as to why um, things have transpired in our life the way it is and we might actually find the keys to understanding intergenerational trauma other times we can look to our family history and feel a huge amount of regard and awe and respect for our ancestors for what they have lived through survived and clearly continued to hold hope for as they lived their lives you know especially if you go back to the 1800s 1700s and things like that you know people really did struggle um, by modern standards you know just the simple things such as you know these really enormous big families where parents might have 13 children and how did they survive at a time when there was no electricity just doing the washing and the cooking would have been a nightmare but anyway i'm digressing i want to stay on track with this and just say i associate amber with knowing your roots and this is as a color and as a crystal and this is because when we look at the crystal amber and i'm just going to give you an extra tidbit here as well amber the true form of amber as a crystal is not that common it's actually uh, quite rare because real amber is the resin that has a fossilized insect inside of it so i think my gut instincts say that there's a lot of um fake on the market shall we say when we buy it but at the same time um just follow your own gut instinct is always my advice you might feel drawn to having some amber and certainly if you're holding amber color if you could have a fake piece of amber if it's got the amber color if that's what you're wanting to work with but if you were looking for the crystal qualities of a piece of fake amber you're not really going to get it if that makes sense so we can do an activity as always they're fairly simple ones to bring more fun and laughter into our lives so that we feel lighter and it's yet again a, si a simple one okay and all you have to do really is either hold a piece of amber or wear some jewelry um, if you've got amber jewelry if you're blessed enough to have that or alternatively you can just visualize yourself in a bubble of light that is the color of amber spend some time focusing on your breath and then remind yourself that you have an uninhibited side and choose to be open to experiencing more of the fun part of life and to draw upon your creative abilities 
and give some thought to five things that you would love to do. Five things that are adventurous or a little bit different, a little bit daring, something that you wouldn't normally do. Then from that list of five, pick the one, just one thing that appeals to you the most and do it today. Give yourself permission to be playful and childlike and to experience joy. Children experience joy because what adults see as dull, children see each experience through the lens of this is the first time. And so therefore, each experience they have is joyous. It might be that you want to sing or dance, paint, write. You might have been wanting to write a book. Start today. Commence any activity which allows you to see completion quickly or to see the progress visibly. So, I mean, if we're talking about a book, of course, you're not going to complete it in a day, but you could turn around and say, right, I'm going to do the first three pages or something like that. You pace yourself. Um, gardening is a good way to see quick results, as is building or baking something small. But whatever activity you decide to do, give yourself this affirmation, which is divine and infinite intelligence. I choose to awaken my creative talents and abilities, liberating myself to enjoy fun and amazing experiences. Thanks, B. You would just do something like that. So that's it for today, friends. Um, hopefully you've found something interesting with it. I'm interested to know, of course, your thoughts and views, particularly on my attributes of the colour amber toward ancestral connection. Is this something that you've ever considered? Let me know. Give me your feedback. But anyway, for now, I'm going to say thanks for being with me. Love you. Leave you. Take care. Have a wonderful week. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.